because I, I was like, how does this happen? And if it's happening to me, and I'm an adult, and I pay my taxes, then it's happening to these kids at 14, and I, I, like, I couldn't live with that. So I went across the nation, and I still do, and I, I speak about my experience, and I, I talk to kids about not doing that on social media, and how to use social media to your advantage, like putting on trailer trash, trash review shows, <laughs> and putting your art out there and putting your videos out there and, and connecting with people in in that way instead of with unkindness and I also talk a little bit about how to deal with it if it's happening and it just it feels amazing because I feel like we're making an impact it's cool that's so great um, last question yes and I want to hear from you and Warner okay good <laughs> if you could have happy hour cocktails and dinner <laughs> with anybody real or fictional, living or dead, who would it be? Stevie Nicks. Wow. <laughs> that was so fast. For sure, Stevie Nicks. Why? Because she's sort of my rainbow. Like, she's, you know, my unattainable. Like, the, like the person that is my icon, and I hold her up here. Yes. And maybe I should just do that. Maybe I should never have cocktails with her. It's only one way you know? to find out. Right? There's those people you never want to meet. But... But I do feel like I could have the cocktail and, and or dinner and just talk about life and maybe not even music, you know what I mean? Sure, like how your hair got so it, awesome. Right, like yeah. how does she, how, like, how did this, this drapey wardrobe, like how did she ever come up with that? You know, like those things. That's what happy hour and dinner is for. Exactly. Eric, or, if you, uh, yeah, living or dead, real or fictional, cocktails and dinner. I gotta say Jimi Hendrix. Ooh. He was yeah. a huge influence on me, so I have so many questions. You know, cocktails would probably take up most of the night. And that's, part, that's part of the reason I want to be with him. So my buddy called his older brother, who was 16, and when he came to pick me up, I remember him distinctly putting in all on the watchtower, and that lick came. I was like, whoa. What is that, dude? And ever since then, I went home and I was like, Mom, I need a guitar. And that was it. And that was it. Yeah, from there. Yeah, Thank completely you, changed Hendrix. me. Thank yeah. you, Hendrix. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you to YouTube, too. Thank you. Thank you.